And the intelligence we get out here is such a worthless joke. We've been chasing him for a week and found nothing but dust. General, if I may speak freely... You may not. You're gonna stand there and tell me that this one guy took out your entire regiment? This one guy they call a walking nuke? What kind of a name is that? It means nothing. He's nothing. He's not there. What we got here is a fairy tale. A phantom, a legend that's just a story for the kids at bedtime. <laughs> All right, you can speak freely now, Stridum. What's eating you? I'm sorry to add to your problem, sir, but I can't urge you enough to take what I say very seriously. Our final victory depends on this, as do the valuable lives of many of our men. Yeah? Sounds a little dramatic to me. When you called him a phantom, you were right. That is exactly how he moves. This man wiped out several units in the same day, all of them miles away from each other. Also, since he's not one of the enemy, we can't get any information from the men we have as prisoners of war. Hmm. The one thing we do know about this man is that even without the use of any weapons, he's causing numerous casualties and destroying many of the units we have in place. You're boring me. Now please tell me that at some point this story is going to get interesting. Sir, I am deadly serious about this. <sighs> he's an ambusher. He will wait as long as he needs so he can attack the unit and take it out. He prepares for his strike in many different ways, preferring to bury himself or to submerge underwater. And remarkably, he can do it for up to a month, holding his breath, just waiting for the right moment to appear. is wired like a wild animal waiting for its prey. He also has the physical strength of a dozen of our soldiers. This combined with a state of mind is a lethal combination. He knows destruction and maximum casualties. This motivation of his to destroy, it isn't just limited to these remote units currently on patrol. If it made it to our base, he could devastate our entire operation. I think I've heard enough. A lone man using nothing but his own two hands defeats an entire unit of soldiers from the best army in the industrialized world. And it sounds like some of the crazy stories I hear from the POWs we keep here. And come on, if he does exist, why come after our men? We're not this guy's enemy. We don't even have a clue as to who this guy is. Personally, I still think he's nothing but a ghost story. I assure you, that isn't the case here. You don't know. You don't know anything about this man, or even if he is a man. You bring me something so unsubstantiated, a seven-year-old child could find the holes in it.